Special thanks to our newest Patreon member, Fox Rose. Thank you kindly, and I hope you enjoy the show. All right, everybody, welcome to the Drawcast. My name is Biosic C, and I am fully baked, and I bring the goods. <laughs> my name is Vince. People call me Vince because my name is Vince. I tried being Fawful the Lego once, but it just didn't work out. Because apparently there's like way too many Fawful things out there. Yeah, who would have figured? Ye. And on today's drawcast, this is going to be the very first drawcast, so let me explain what how it is. Basically, we draw and do a podcast. It's a novel idea, wouldn't you say? N- novel. Absolutely. <laughs> on today's drawcast, we are going to be doing self-portraits. Oh, wow. Which unfortunately... Which means we get to show the internet how we think about ourselves. <laughs> and all, every single one of our mistakes are going to be exaggerated and expressed on the internet. That way people can make fun of us. In addition to drawing ourselves, we are going to talk about ourselves. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all what? This is basically just an un, like an unpaid therapy session. Unpaid group therapy. I'm just drawing scribbles. Yay. <laughs> Is that who you think you are? Is that what you think you are? What does it represent? (laughs) What does that one scribble represent? Is it supposed to be your inner turmoil? So, Vince. Yes. Tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Vince. (laughs) You can see it right here. Vince. (laughs) Um, Am I disappointed? The answer is (laughs) yes. Anyway, what do you... What do you do on FanFickle? Let's start it e- out easy. Um, okay, so let's get into some serious talk right here. Um, well, I I initially started off just as a lurker. Uh, if you if you ever seen the on-the-spot comic dubs, um, you would know that I was just uh, in the sidelines. Everybody knew I was there, but I wasn't actually doing anything. You were just like a little... You're basically just glorified furniture that occasionally giggles. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty accurate. But uh, as the as time progressed, I decided to just take charge. And I started off with the What's Up With Star Fox video, which... um, A little bit of dated opinions, like... I, I don't think Star Fox Command is as great as I initially thought it was, but mm. it, I still find it to be a fine game. I, I, I still find it to be very overhated. Mm-hmm. I mean, on, I kind of have a similar thing that happened when I did a review of Bayonetta. By the way... Oh, Bayonetta. For, 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 Bay, Bayonetta. The little let's say... I've basically been in the background for like two years. Sometimes you weren't even there because you didn't even know where we went. Oh, no, no, no. I basically was not there for, like, a full f- year because, as Wamboo has once said, college is hard and takes up too much time. It's true. Wamboo is a good friend. I'm more of that, uh, oh, wh- oh, what's that guy? Um, you ever seen, is it Office Space? Office Space, that's the movie, right? I think, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, think of me more as Lumberg, so is like, hey... If you could do this uh, today, that would be great. You know, that kind of guy. Except you have a little bit more charm and charisma. I hope I do. Well, uh, nobody seems to hate you. I don't see anybody talking shit behind or in front of you. So, who knows? Well, I that's I would never know. I don't know if they're talking right in front of you. I'm pretty sure you would know. <laughs> oh, Wombo makes fun of me in front of my face so much. Wanda makes fun of everybody. He's a sassy little bitch. <laughs> All right, if that's the case, uh, oh, no. I'm crazy. Are you okay, Elmo? Do you, do you need help? Elmo, Elmo drew himself as a Kirby. <laughs> if that if that's how you see yourself, then uh, I don't I don't really have anything to say. It's ridiculous. The stuff I come up with. <laughs> but are you like a Tickle Me Elmo, or are you like one of those ancient Elmos? A uh, forbidden Elmo. I am Elmo, the god of death. <laughs> oh god. 
So, um, you said you got into the printing business, and I heard that you got hired recently. Uh, I never actually figured out what it was you did. Um, so I used to be a label maker at, uh, at the start. And, um... <laughs> so I used to... <laughs> Oh, man, my voice. I used to be a, you used, a label You maker. used to vomit on all of your work, and that's why I got fired. Yeah, and that, we call those NCRs in the business non-conforming product. Non-conformities. <laughs> so I, I worked there for about a year. I was uh, very starting off uh, very early on. I was just, like, mm, falling over myself. And it wasn't until, like, pretty much a year after, pretty much when I was about to leave, when I was starting to get good. And it's like, oh, you're getting good. And then you're just like, bitch, you fired. And you're just going to be like, <laughs> okay. No, I never got fired. I did it the legalist way. I did it the uh, the most professional way possible by giving my two weeks notice. <sighs> Boring. But at the same rate, uh, probably good for your resume and also your life. Yeah. In general. <laughs> Fortunately, they took it well. I'm glad about that. Hmm. Well, I'm certainly hoping so. You managed to get the next, the last job or mm -hmm. your most recent job. Yeah, yeah. So currently now I am... Uh, I'm making, uh, uh, you know what, you know what sugar is, right? It's like the high quality stuff. Oh, is it kind of like that whole raw sugar thing that Starbucks is doing? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I am actually, um, I actually print the sugar packets that you may or may not know of. I make the packet, not necessarily the packets themselves, that's another department, but I print, uh, the designs on the paper. Oh, cool. So I'm, like, uh, pretty much one of the first phases of the production. Excellent. Yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, but no, like, this place is called, uh, which means... Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm It's a really nice place. On, uh, my end, though, I work for a cancer treatment company, and I work within the automation of testing. So my job is to, uh make the software that makes testing not take five years, and to ensure that the cancer machines that we create don't explode and kill people. Oh yeah. <laughs> I gotta make sure sugar doesn't cause a fire. So we so that means you have to follow FDA standards, right? Uh yeah, I think I think so. Yeah. I, I remember FDA being announced every once in a while. And nice. uh, I believe we are ISO certified as well. Nice. Uh, I kind of got a little bit of a step above you, though. Not only do I have to follow FDA standards, but I also have to follow inter international standards for medical devices. Because uh, we sell basically internationally. We're one of the top companies that sell uh, cancer treatment machines. Other than that, though, my job is basically just looking at software and saying, like, why are you breaking? What's going on? What's wrong? What is wrong with you? <laughs> just constantly. <sighs> All right, this drawing is coming along pretty well. Oh, except for the fact that I have, like, no torso. Or butt. <laughs> okay, let me try to fix that a little bit. Come on, butt. I know you exist. You're there somewhere. There we go. Yeah, no, uh, my torso is abnormally long. Like, when me and my boyfriend tried to compare heights... By the way, y'all, bye. Um, we basically found out that our torsos are exactly the same length, and all of our height difference comes from our legs. And he's five foot eight, and I'm six feet, so I basically have four more inches of leg. <laughs> That's great. Isn't it? He is a small boy, and I love him, even if he pisses me off sometimes. I hope he. I hope he's going. He's uh. He's doing. He's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I, I'm not laughing at him. I'm laughing at my drawing. Who invented clothes? The Bible said the clothes were invented by Adam and Eve after they saw they'd... Uh, bo both of them? God took Eve's <laughs> as punishment. <laughs> I mean, I am... Um, I'm actually Catholic. Did you know that? Yeah, me too. Lit! That being said, I haven't been to church since uh, seven years ago. My parents were just too busy. I didn't like sitting in a hard pew saying the same things over and over again. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gay. Yeah. I am definitely not straight, and I do not want to have to deal with them saying, like, being gay is bad. Oh, now, did they I, actually I, say that, though? No, of course they never say that explicitly. At least within my parish. They never actually... They didn't actually talk very much about stuff like that, and for that I could appreciate it. Okay, so you're not Westboro Baptist here. Uh, I just year. said I'm Catholic! Yeah, aren't they, uh, aren't they Catholics? 
Okay, let me tell you a little bit about the uh, Christian sects that go scattered throughout the United States. Uh, they have none because the... they don't want us. They want us to wait till marriage, and nobody wants to get married. Uh, the Westboro Baptist Church is basically another segment of the uh, of Christianity, kind of like how evangelicals are pieces of shit. Oh yeah, because they are based off of that Rudgrass character. I hate you. <laughs> And that is the first episode of the podcast, and this is a lot more fun than I would have thought. Yeah, it was. Like, I hope we get, like, more people in and, like, make putting competitive aspects to it, and yeah, mm, this would I'm, be pretty fun. Com uh, competitive may be a different thing. Like, Yeah, yeah, a completely say... different thing, but just imagine yeah. if we can convince other members on... Mm -hmm. Anyway, I will see y'all later. My name is Biosic C, and oh. I'm the whole weed of romance. I am Vincent...